Very good afternoon students. Today we are going to derive an relation for Ohm's law from conductivity, electric field and current density. So you can say that derive an expression for J is equals to sigma into E. We know that J is current density and sigma is conductivity and E stands for electric field. So we are given the relation between current density and electric field that is j is equals to sigma into e give as number one and uh, we know that the electric field is negative gradient of potential or you can say that electric field is a negative of gradient of potential and for the current through a conductor electric field will be equal to the negative rate of change of potential with length right so that's why we can write e is equal to negative of dv divided by dl write it as equation number 2 so according to the definition of current density we can say that j is equals to length over cross section area that is j is equal to l upon a marked as equation 3 when we summarize these three equations that means we know the value of j from equation third so that means i'm writing l over a is equals to from equation second i'm writing negative sign sigma Value of E from equation 2, I am writing here dV over dL, marked as equation number 4. So, as we know that current is equal to negative dQ divided by dT, so according to that negative sigma A dV divided by dT. So, when we current multiply current with this cross multiplied, that is dL is equal to negative of this function. So, now if we consider a conductor of length L, two ends of which at potential V1 and V2, then 0 to L ideal is equals to V1, V2, negative of this into dV. I am writing dV over here, that's why the limits of potential from V1 to V2. I am writing dL differential order of length that's why i'm writing the limits from 0 to l right so when we solve these two factors i'm writing this as it is for that i'm writing sigma a now upper limit minus lower limit that's why negative sign is cancelled out over there we simply write v1 minus v2 as we know that v1 minus v2 is equal to v right because where V1 minus V2 is the potential difference across two ends of conductor. That's why let V1 is equal, minus V2 is equal to V. So this relation will be IL is equals to sigma A. Instead of this I am writing V. If I am going to calculate the value of V. So it will be L upon sigma over A into I. Marked as equation number 5. As we know that for the given conductor length conductivity area of cross section these are the constants so i'm writing v directly proportional to some constant into i that means i'm writing v is equals to i into r so marked as where r is equal to this right that means it will be v is directly proportional to i so this is the statement of ohm's law right so by this I can say that this is also equivalent to this j is equals to sigma into e right because we know that 1 over sigma a is equals to r which is resistance of the conductor and may be expressed as like this right so that's why I am writing this hope it's clear to you thank you